you've designed the perfect wall mural for your budding artist, explorer, scientist, <laughs> or astronaut. Yesterday it arrived, and today is the big day. Now, some of you may be a little bit nervous. Maybe you're not big do-it-yourselfers. Or you have flashbacks to wallpaper projects gone wrong. Not to worry. HP Wall Art is easy, and I'll be with you every step of the way. Now, before we get started, let's make sure you have all the tools and equipment that you need to make this project go smoothly. Verify you received all the panels shown at the top of the page on your custom instructions. That's right, these instructions were printed just for you, with the exact measurements you used to design the wall. If anything is missing, help is just a click away at the support section of our website. I also recommend the following tools, which come in the optional easy installation kit. A smoothing tool, knife, spare blades, sponge, level, drop cloth, and wallpaper tray. In addition to these, you'll need a good ladder or step stool. Okay, just one more thing before we start. You'll need to move any furniture or obstructions away from the wall. Also, don't forget to remove anything attached to the wall, like picture hangers, shelves, nails, and outlet plates. But be sure to turn off all electricity before you remove the plates. If your wall is clean and free of debris like this one, you're ready to start. But if it has old flaking paint or cracks, I suggest patching and priming first. Spread a drop cloth on the floor in case things get a little messy, and then fill the included wallpaper tray with cold water. Now we're going to create a guideline for panel one. Distances are shown in your custom instructions. We'll use distance A. Measure from the left edge of the wall and use a pencil to make a small mark. Using a level or plumb bob, you're going to make two to three small marks along the same line. It's important to be as exact as possible for proper installation. Okay, we're ready to install the first panel. Locate it by the number printed on the bottom of the panel. We'll need to wet it and book it before we can mount it to the wall. To wet it, loosely roll the panel with the printed side facing in. Soak the panel in the tray for 15 seconds. Then slowly pull the edge out of the tray. Make sure the glue side is up. To book it, lay the panel on the floor, glue side up. Fold the glue side onto itself, like this. Be careful not to flatten or crease the material. It should look like this with the graphics on the outside. Now let it sit for about a minute. Back to work. Here's where that step stool or ladder is going to come in handy. You're going to unfold the top half only, leaving the bottom half still booked. Two inches from the top of the panel is a horizontal guideline. This mark should align with the top of your wall. Now make sure that the left side is also aligned with the marks that you made earlier. Now you're going to unfold the bottom half. Smoothing it downward and outward, checking your guidelines as you apply. If you have any large air bubbles, smooth them with the damp sponge, like this. 
If a bubble is too big, don't smooth it as it may crease the paper. Instead, peel it back and go ahead and reapply. Now, let it sit for 5 to 10 minutes. You can use that time to wet and book the next panel. If there are any air bubbles larger than about a quarter after 15 minutes, use a wallpaper smoothing tool to smooth them out. Don't worry about smaller air bubbles. They'll dissipate on their own as it dries completely. After you've repeated the wetting and booking process, take the top half of panel 2 and align it to the right of panel 1. You'll notice a crosshair mark on panel 1 that corresponds with a horizontal line on panel 2. Line those marks up and use the lower vertical guideline to help keep them aligned as you move down the wall. Once it's applied, smooth it out like you did for panel 1. Use the same method for the rest of the panels on the right side. Okay, we're over halfway there. Installing the panels on the left side is the same process as the right side. Just look for the crosshair mark on panel 1, left side this time, that corresponds to a horizontal line on your next panel. Line those marks up and use the lower vertical guideline to help keep them aligned as you move down the wall. Once it's applied, smooth it out and repeat for the remaining panels. It's the home stretch. Time to trim away the excess material. You'll want to use a sharp knife and replace the blades frequently. Take a straight edge to push the panel flush against the wall where it intersects with the ceiling, door, window, or wall. Now, cut away the excess paper with a sharp utility knife. Now you may need to wipe down the wall behind the covered areas to remove any residual adhesive. All right, that's it. You're done. Give me a second to move the furniture back in place and clean up. Okay, we're ready. Come look, Brady. Whoa, that's awesome. You think so? I can make it fly like a rocket ship. So they loved the spaceship theme when they were six, seven, eight, but now they're a little older and their tastes have changed. No problem. It's easy to remove, so you can update the look as often as you want. Just clear the work area and put down a drop cloth. Get a bucket of water and a sponge and thoroughly wet the wall starting at the top. Once the panel starts to peel away from the wall, run the wet sponge across the leading edge to keep the adhesive wet. Peel the paper back very slowly, wetting the edge as you go. The panel will remove in a single sheet, but some adhesive will remain on the wall. Just sponge off any remaining adhesive like that and you're done. Now's the fun part, deciding what to put up next.